Greetings. On behalf of the California HIV AIDS Policy Research Centers, we want to wish you a happy new year, belated, and look forward to building better and more equitable opportunities for wellness in California. We know that our next step in addressing the impact of the HIV epidemic demands investment in addressing disparities in HIV treatment and prevention. To get us started on this path, we've created a series to shine a spotlight on California's disparities in HIV. Let us begin by sharing information regarding the End the Epidemics Initiative. It is a unique community collaboration with a goal to address HIV, sexually transmitted infections, and hepatitis C as a syndemic. This approach means that we focus on how these epidemics are a result of a set of linked health problems that interact and contribute to poorer health outcomes. It differs from a biomedical approach because we want to address the social determinants of health like healthcare access, housing and homelessness, immigration, and criminalization that drive these epidemics. We are excited to take the lead in offering research support, outreach, and education focused on these overlapping epidemics. In terms of disparities in California, Latinx communities are the largest ethnic minority impacted by the HIV epidemic. Our research tells us that the gap in rates of new HIV cases continues to widen between Latino and white men who have sex with men. In 2016, we documented that Latino MSM had a 68% higher rate of new HIV infections. Here in Los Angeles, we see the same trends. We also see how the epidemic is affecting a large number of Latina women as well. These numbers are undoubtedly driven by other factors that affect health and wellness for Latinx communities. An estimated more than 2 million undocumented immigrants live in the state of California, which is about one quarter of undocumented individuals in the U.S. We are also home to the country's largest population of migrant workers and documented immigrants. But recent changes to immigration policy have made the landscape complicated for immigrants and their families. Research evidence suggests that immigration-related fears have intensified in the U.S during the past few years and that this has had a real impact on Latinx folks seeking to access HIV treatment and prevention. One of those issues has been changes to the public charge rule under immigration law. The Supreme Court's ruling on January 27, 2020 means we will now see the final rule being implemented here in California. This little known rule may have an impact in the way immigrant families access care our hope is that before anyone makes a decision about their health care, they first consult an expert. These are resources we have shared through our website at www.chprc.org. Now that we have what we need biomedically to prevent new infections and to effectively treat and prevent HIV, our next task is to ensure Latinx communities have continued access to both regardless of immigration status. The numbers are showing us we still have work to do. Although Latinx communities demonstrated the largest percentage increase in PrEP use comparing 2013 to 2016, their overall level of uptake in 2016 was less than half that of any other group. A recent update on PrEP use among Medi-Cal beneficiaries shows us we are on the right track, but we must continue to stay committed to this work. In California, the state has chosen to help all eligible Californians, regardless of immigration status, to access PrEP and pay for the costs of PrEP-related care. Again, the financial help is available to all eligible Californians, regardless of immigration status. These are gains we have made across California. Our laws are moving in directions supported by research evidence. So let's keep the spotlight on disparities. Let's do better.